The history of Westeros is a history of war and the fight for the control of the throne. At least that's how it has been in recent years. Politics and betrayal are the bread and butter, but who are these characters that are willing to do anything to gain the ultimate power? From using a legendary dragon, to kill a child, to bringing about the end of his wife, to have a chance at the throne. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the five most vicious and dangerous characters from the second season of House of the Dragon. And for more videos from A Song of Ice and Fire universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Number 5. Aemon Targaryen. This is perhaps the only morally gray character on this list. Some people consider him a victim, and others, a victimizer. His story begins as a boy who is teased by his brother and nephews, but decides to claim the greatest dragon for his own. Aemon becomes a great warrior thanks to the teachings of Kristen Cole, and quickly becomes the Green's greatest weapon. Although at first, Aemond was an honorable and virtuous character, the hatred towards Rhaenyra's children was present throughout his life, mainly for two reasons. The first is that Aemond, in addition to receiving his lessons in history, politics and combat, received a religious upbringing and did not want an illegitimate son to become king. Furthermore, ever since Lucerus took his eye, any chance of him having any appreciation for them disappeared. It was this hatred that influenced Vagar's behavior and caused Lucerus' death. Perhaps by mistake, or perhaps because within himself, wished to finish him off. In the second season, Amon's cruelty will begin to manifest itself, and he will show why he is the best warrior of the Greens. We will see him facing other dragons and the troops of Rhaenyra's side, and perhaps we will have an encounter between him and the only person who could face him, Daemon. Number 4. Aegon II. Aegon II is one of those characters that has no positive qualities. He is a ruthless and cruel Targaryen who inherited the worst qualities of his family, including a kind of recklessness, which led him to take advantage of even his handmaids. Since his birth, he has been a cowardly and cruel character. He often mistreats his wife Helena, and now in power, he is more dangerous than ever because although he is incompetent, he now has a crown on his head, and a dangerous dragon Sunfire. In the second season, Aegon will fight in the Dance of the Dragons, and will prove that although he has been shown as a coward in the past, dragon blood runs in him. We don't know to what degree of cruelty Aegon is willing to go, but the books mention that he celebrated his brother's arrival, after Lucerus's death, to the point of throwing a party for his uncle's death, which makes him a rather dark character. Number 3. Otto Hightower. We could not talk about the dance of the dragons and cruel actions without naming Otto Hightower. A person who has used the idea that the end justifies the means to take control of power in Westeros. Otto was the one who confined King Viserys to live in isolation, being constantly manipulated and even directing every action taken by the monarch, from whom to support in battle, to whom to marry. Otto was the one who ordered Alicent to approach Viserys, and was responsible for keeping Rhaenyra away from King's Landing. After revealing to Viserys that Rhaenyra was in a brothel, and then spreading rumors that Rhaenyra's children were not legitimate. Otto is extremely strategic and Machiavellian. When Rhaenyra finds out that her father is dead, Otto has been working on a plan to conquer for many years, something that has worked for him so far. He managed to keep all the contenders to the throne away from King's Landing, and even held Rhaenys prisoner while the coronation was taking place. In the second season of House of the Dragon, Otto will continue with his plans to conquer, but he will possibly understand that Aegon II is not a good king and will start doing everything possible to get him out of his position. Number 2. Larys the Clubfoot. Larys is perhaps one of the most despised characters in the first season. He was noted for trading favors with Queen Alicent and his affinity for the Queen's feet. 
Laris ended the lives of his father and brother, just to win the queen's favor, and has been manipulating events from the shadows. His character is similar to Littlefinger's, but he is much more ruthless and cruel, capable of selling anyone if it advances his plans. In the second season of House of the Dragon, we could see how Laris uses his influence and manipulation to affect Rhaenyra's side. If Laris was able to finish off his own family, imagine what he could do to his enemies. Undoubtedly he is a character that we will follow closely, because he still has much to prove, and perhaps he will end up betraying the green side as well. He is someone who has no values or scruples, and is willing to do anything to gain influence in the power game. And number one, Daemon Targaryen. This is without a doubt, the most cruel and dangerous character in the series. Daemon began to demonstrate his cruelty in the streets of Westeros, when he was the commander of the Gold Cloaks, and also in the Battle of the Stepstones, where he managed to defeat and split the Crab Feeder into two parts. But his cruelty and violence is not only directed to his enemies, Daemon ended the life of his wife Rhea Royce, only because he wanted a chance to aspire to the throne, and if he was already married, he could not claim Rhaenyra as his wife. Then, when he returned to Westeros, he abandoned Rhaenyra in a brothel. He was responsible for mocking the death of Viserys' son, and then taking the dragon egg that is supposed to be given to the newborn baby, and Daemon's cruelest actions are about to take place in the second season. Daemon is undoubtedly the cruelest character in this entire series, but ironically, he is considered by some to be a misunderstood hero. In season two, Daemon will prove why he is the rogue prince, and he will strike where it hurts the high towers the most, a son for a son, as Lucerys will be avenged. These have been the five cruelest characters in House of the Dragon. During peace, it is easy to keep up appearances, but when the battle for power begins, we may see that the bad guys are not so bad, and the good guys end up showing their true colors. But let me know in the comments, if you agree with this list, or if I missed any. And for more videos from the universe of A Song of Ice and Fire, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Before I wrap up this video, I want to let you know that the videos on this channel are based on both the Game of Thrones and the House of the Dragon series, as well as the books by George Martin. If you want to learn more about this universe, I'm going to leave you our affiliate link in the description, where you can order the books or their audible version. And if you like the official t-shirts of this channel, you will also find the link to our store to order your favorite piece. Thank you for your support. And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven.